All right, hello, welcome to the Roy Rogers News Channel. Thank you so much for watching. All right, Sugary Snow Pup wanted to say hello to everybody, so I brought her into the studio. Also, before I dive into the headline video, I would like to note that I changed the headline theme to make it a little bit more soothing for everybody. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into our headline video right now. All right, let's go ahead and start off by reading headline number one. Derek has left the staff team and I would like to thank Derek for his contribution here to the game and I'd also like to thank him for the events that he has hosted here on PokeMO. And I would like to wish Derek well with his real life endeavors. Good luck, Derek, good luck. All right, Devaluke has also departed from the staff lounge as well. I would like to mention that Devaluke has helped me out a lot with, with the Chinese transliterations for the Mayor Best Friends YouTube videos. So thank you so much, Devaluk, for your assistance in the Chinese translations. I'd also like to thank him for hosting some awesome in-game events, and I would like to wish him well with his real-life endeavors. Good luck, Devaluk. Good luck. And thank you for being an integral part of my Pokemon Pokedex guide as well. Thank you so much for cleaning up the guide as well before the guide was published in the guide tower. Thank you so much. Cosmo, and I hope I said your name correctly, has been hired to the staff team. Congratulations. I would also like to thank Cosmo for his contribution for the in-game events and for helping out people in the global chat. Thank you so much, Cosmo and I wish you well with your in-game endeavors. Good luck, Cosmo. good luck. Lacey has also entered into the staff lounge. Congratulations, Lacey, for being hired as a community manager. I would also like to thank Lacey for her contributions to the community, and I would like to wish her well with her in-game endeavors. Good luck, Lacey, good luck. Lord Hydra has also been hired to the staff team as well. Congratulations, Lord Hydra. And I know that Techno Vortex has mentioned you briefly in the Pokemo interview series, and we could talk about Techno one headline away. Because Lord Hydra and Techno Vortex became staff at the same time. And I would also like to thank Lord Hydra for his contribution to the game with the events that he has hosted on the forums, and I would like to wish him well with his in-game endeavors. Good luck, Lord Hydra. Good luck. All right. Speaking about Techno Vortex, Techno Vortex has been hired as a community manager. Congratulations, Techno Vortex. And you have made history as the second community manager to appear on the PokeMO interview series on the Roy Rogers News Channel. Congratulations, Techno Vortex, for becoming a community manager. Congratulations. And thank you so much for the events that you have hosted here in the game. And I would like to wish you well with your in game experiences. Good luck, Techno Vortex. Good luck. All right, and Blackjaw has also been hired to the staff team. Congratulations, Blackjaw. And I would like to thank him for his contribution to the community. And I would like to wish Blackjaw well with his in-game experiences. Good luck, Blackjaw, good luck. All right, and Lynn has left the staff team. And Lynn has quite a seasoned history here on PokeMO. And I would like to thank Lynn for all the contributions that he has done here on PokeMO, and I would like to wish Lynn well with his real life endeavors. Good luck, Lynn. Good luck. And Blackjaw has left the staff team, and I would like to thank Blackjaw for his contribution to the community, and I would like to wish him well with his real life endeavors. Good luck, Blackjaw. Good luck. And Lacey has also left the staff team as well. And I would also like to thank Lacey for her contributions to the community, and I would like to wish her well with her real life endeavors. Good luck, Lacey. Good luck. New C player has been promoted from community manager to global moderator. Congratulations. And I appreciate New C player and his support for the player base here on PokeMO. And I would like to wish him well with his in-game experiences. Good luck, new C player. Good luck. All right, Sethson has been promoted from Global Moderator to Game Master. Congratulations. And Sethson has evolved into a Feraligator. I feel almost like he's the only staff member that I can make a reference to the Feraligator evolution line. 
And thank you for your contributions here to the community. I would like to wish Setson well with his experiences here in game. Good luck, Setson. Oh yeah, I should note that Setson gave... Oh yeah, I should note that, that Setson has advised for me to make the Pokemon support system one of the FAQ questions. So on episode 3, I made the Pokemon support system the first question that I answered. Thank you so much, Sethan, for that suggestion, and I would like to wish him well with his in-game experiences. Good luck, Sethan. Good luck. Mickey! All right, and the leadership of Optic had reached out to me and told me that I was saying Mickey's name wrong this whole time, and I should say the name Mickey, like Mickey Mouse. So, congratulations, Mickey, for your promotion, and I appreciate your contribution here to the community. Mickey, you terrify me. You're like one of the few people that try to mimic my look. Pretty soon I may have a twin in the game. So Mickey makes that possible, and I'm kind of nervous about that. All right, I wish Mickey well. Good luck, Mickey, with your in-game endeavors. Good luck. All right, and now for something that could be groundbreaking for the UU meta. So the title of this post is UU Discussion, Lucario Subject Test. And Double J is making the case for why Lucario should be moved to UU next month for a subject test. All right, and I quote Double J here. With the successful introduction of Porygon Z to the underused tier, the Pokemon Tier List Council has continued to reevaluate the current UUBL ban list, and we have near unanimously voted to subject test Lucario for the upcoming season. We recognize that Lucario is an impressive offensive powerhouse, being able to break walls and sweep with physical special or mix sets. It has powerful stab moves, priority, and can be a reliable choice scarf user as well. Although we believe that the underused tier has a unique variety of walls that in theory could check Lucario's multitude of sets, namely Crowbat, which already has an incredible usage rate in Yuyu, which act as the primary check for most sets fearing only a plus two extreme speed after chip damage or a predicted ice punch or sidekick. Lucario, while boosting a good defensive typing, does not handle stab Brave Bird incredibly well. Other checks include Gligar, Blastoise, Swampert, Dusclops, Metagross, Donphan, and most notably Torkoal. Unfortunately, there does not seem to be a true counter for Lucario and each of the aforementioned Pokemon can readily be overcome by Lucario's incredible diverse moveset. Most of those Pokemon also take neutral damage from one of Lucario's powerful stabs or hit hard by a coverage move. Despite such outstanding offensive power, Lucario also has a reluctancy to switch in and hates chip damage often relying on a focus sash or near full HP for optimal setup opportunities. And despite such a good defensive typing, it carries weaknesses to some of the most common coverage move types in Fighting Ground and Fire. Without setup, it often fails to have the power to reliably break many walls and can be crippled by trick users. Lucario may also shake the meta up in a positive way. We would likely see increased usage in the current NU Pokemon like Slowbro, Nino Queen, and possibly others. We will also likely see an uptick in Mach Punch users like Hitmontop that could stop any setup. Durant may also see additional usage resisting all priority moves except Vacuum Wave what this means for UU and NU is yet to be seen, but I personally feel that a changing metagame is very healthy for Pokemo. We recognize that on paper Lucario looks overpowered, but we were all surprised 
by how the meta adapted to Porygon Z, and we felt it was necessary to test Lucario there as well. Please discuss. Due to this one statement, it is fair to say that the competitive community of Pokemon has been frazzled quite a bit by Double J's response. Telling by this response by Impartial. You have the power, everybody! Mario, 4.38%. And then Manya says that usage can indeed stop the test. So if you ever want to do activist competitive battling, you may want to carry around a Lucario in your OU teams. That way, if you don't want Lucario to be in UU, you can save Lucario from that fate. All right. I'm not too sure how many competitive activists are going to be on Pokemon. But what I am going to say is this. Even though I have a competitive analysis series on Roy Rogers News, I try my best to steer away from controversy in the game, so I'm going to let you form your own opinion as to whether or not Lucario is a good fit for UU or if it's overpowered. That is the Lucario proposal in a nutshell. All right, and I hope that this headline was very informative. All right, let's go ahead and dive into the next headline that is kind of giving the Pokemon Pokemon CDM YouTube channel and Roy Rogers News a little bit of a, I guess you can say, kind of a cautionary alert. So, someone asked on the Twitter feed of Pokemon's Twitter page, are you still going to add HeartGold and SoulSilver? It's too expensive to buy now, and I want to play it with a friend. Hi, it is the next region we plan to add, but at this time, there is no estimated release date. And that statement was issued by Reeves. Party Pug is sharing about the news. All right, so when I saw that Twitter response, I've seen before where the staff team has answered that Johto is arriving, but we don't know when. But when I saw this Twitter response, currently the Roy Rogers News Channel and the Pokemon Pokemon Stadium YouTube channel are right now on kind of a cautionary alert, just in case Johto does arrive, and I would like to take the necessary precautions just in case the development team does decide to roll that out, and I hope that the Roy Rogers News Channel can be prepared once the Johto region has been released. All right, and if Q makes an announcement about Johto, I can let you know, I can cover it, on the Roy Rogers News channel exclusively, just like how I covered the Pokemon Pokemon Platinum announcement on the forums with Rach's beautiful painting of Mount Cornet. All right, and now it's time for us to dive into the team tournament news. All right, team tournament March, hosted on April 2nd, hosted by Baronator, who won? All right, whoa, uh, there, there's a Meganium and UFOs and Beanie Hats, we live in an interesting world. All right, congratulations to SLSY, Soul Society. Your run was amazing, guys. Some really great matches played today. You can proudly say you've earned the win with performance in the whole tournament. A big shout out for Team Lava. Not a lot can be said after final match like this, but we still admire your will to fight and we hope to see you next month. As always, a big thank you for my refs, Lynn and PDH, Setson, X Jose, Broken Ball, Blackjaw, Lacey for helping during the tournament. As said, the captain of team passed and the player who has played for two teams are both receiving red cards and cannot play or captain in the next TT on any account. Team Pass receives a yellow card and one point penalty. We will also notify other teams that penalty for allowing players who played for another team will not always be met with one penalty point and we might increase the penalty. Team Tournament April, 
Saturday, 17th of April. Hosted by Bear Raider, who won? Congratulations to Team BR Brazil, our champions of April. Impressive run and well-deserved trophy. Shout out to Savi, Savi champions, who were really close to champions title. Good luck next time. As always, huge thanks to my refs, Lacey, Setson, X Jose, Blackjaw, MPDH, Mickey, Reeves, and Broken Bull. And Baronator wants to make a brief statement here about the team tournaments. This is how we split after the team calls. If your match is number one, you are on channel three, etc. We will also give information about that during team tournaments, as well as information which GM will be on which channel for you to come to correct one. During team calls, when you see your team called and you are the captain, or your captain is absent, simply whisper me name of team. So if team XYZ is called, give me a whisper XYZ when you are ready to fight. The green zones are for spectators. We will ask you to leave one block space between you and fighting people. We will move people if needed, but if this will be abused on purpose, we will start to give team punishments. See you in three hours and 40 minutes and good luck to all teams. All right, and that is the graphic there. All right, there's channel four. Channel 5. Team Tournament May, Saturday 29th. Alright, hosted by Banner Raider. Who won? Banner made by Boys Cap. Wow, Boys Cap, you make a really nice banner. Who won? Congratulations to UWU. I know a lot of weebs that say this in particular. UWU. Warriors for their amazing run and for becoming champions of May. A lot of amazing matches, well-deserved trophy. Shout out to V4, Vini, Victini, Vicky, and Vixi, who came close to claiming the trophy for themselves. Good luck next time. As always, thank you to my amazing refs, Broken Ball, Reeves, X Jose, and NPDH. All right. And there's the current graphic of the placings on the tournament. All right. Team tournament June, Saturday 19th of June. Hosted by Barrenator, who won? Congratulations to Team SIA, Sync, Etor, Ad, Astra for winning June team tournament and becoming a champions. And shout out to Team Zero Elite Warriors, who came close with second place. Great matches, both of you, especially final. It was just amazing. As always, big thanks to my refs, MPDH, X Jose, Setson, and Broken Ball. All right, and now it is time for the channel announcements. Oh, let's go ahead and revamp the channel art, right? now all right the reason why i revamped the channel brand look is in part due to people in the community reacting very positively towards a face being shown on youtube and the personalization of youtube channels i've seen on pokemo and so to commemorate the fact that the community feels a welcoming atmosphere towards a face being on the channel avatar, I decided to revamp all three of the channel avatars by replacing them with my in-game face on each of the three channels. Now it's time for the channel briefings on the channel objectives. So let's go and start off with Roy Rogers News, the channel that you're watching right now. So as of right now, headlines, no real change here. 
I can still read the headlines and and I'm glad that the static on the mic is gone. I know that some people have written in to Roy Rogers News asking if the static can be eliminated and the answer is yes the static can be eliminated so and I'm really happy about that. All right and updates same thing no real change there and I still plan on reading the update blog verbatim however I do want to display some features in the game. If Q mentions a certain change, then I would like to show it long camera. So no real changes in the update coverage. FAQ, currently I'm working on one question. I already got my bonus question done. And so far I only have one question and I still have nine questions to come up with. But don't worry. The Roy Rogers News Channel wants to emphasize on quality over quantity. And that is an important trait for my three YouTube channels. And then the Pokemon interview series. As of right now, I currently offered four guests in the interview series. Now, two of the guests are going to appear on camera simultaneously because both of them have done something in the game that is pretty impressive. Uh, and helping out a lot of players who are fresh to the game, as well as having a competitive presence on Pokemon. And then the other two guests have done pretty big things in the game, so I'm looking forward to featuring all of them, and it's just a matter of scheduling at this point. All right, and now for the competitive analysis series, the fairly new series that has been introduced here on the Roy Rogers News Channel. So, as of right now, I'm currently working on the second script of the competitive Pokemon. I already have the proofreader lined up. Oh yeah, the second episode, I plan on featuring a co-host. And you may know him, that's all I'm going to say. So those are all the channel announcements on Roy Rogers News, and I hope you enjoy the content on Roy Rogers News. Mayor Best Friends, there are currently no objectives at this point. However, I do... Watch very closely for gym route changes. If there are changes as to how to get to a gym, then the Mayor Best Friends YouTube channel can retape a gym route. So that is how the Mayor Best Friends YouTube channel is operating at this time. And last but certainly not least, the Pokemon Pokemon Stadium YouTube channel. All right, Kanto and Hoenn have been completed. And now all I have is just Sinnoh and Unova left. But as I mentioned earlier in the program, Reeves has written a tweet that has put this channel on on a brief cautionary alert. So the Pokemon Pokemon Stadium YouTube channel. So I plan on preparing that channel for the scenario that Johto arrives. And I'm not too sure when the devs are going to make that announcement. But the Pokemon Pokemon Stadium YouTube channel as of right now is on a cautionary alert. That's all I have to say on the Pokemon Pokemon Stadium YouTube channel. Oh yeah, and I also put in the timestamps for all the hidden items, so feel free to look at the pinned comment and click on the timestamp if you want the items that are listed there in the pinned comment. And I hope you enjoy the channel briefings. I would also like to thank my supporters here on Pokemo. 200 followers on the forums, wow. I am grateful for your support here on Pokemo, and I hope I can be of assistance to your adventure, and I wish you all well with your endeavors. And if you need assistance, feel free to write in this comment section, or you can write a status update on my forms profile. Feel free to reach out to me if you need any assistance in game, but I enjoy helping people who are new, people who are old, and I really do enjoy giving back to the game. And I can discuss a little bit more about that later in the broadcast. I do want to say thank you for your support. And I hope to continue making you all proud here on Pokemo. And that is my goal on Pokemo, is to help out as many people as I can. And now it is time to discuss my brief departure from Pokemon from June 27th until July 18th. Every year I have to leave Pokemon for three weeks due to religious reasons. 
and I usually try to make an impact on Poke Ammo before I leave. So, at the end of the broadcast, I would like to make a considerable donation to the World Cup 4, and I hope that the guys over at World Cup 4 can enjoy the World Cup series. I would like to thank the crew, Limebo, Exose, and Forfitter for manning the World Cup. I wish everybody well with hosting the World Cup here on Pokemo while I'm gone. And before I leave Pokemo for the brief three week hiatus, I would also like to mention the fact that I've made a conference room for MT Birchfield, Rody Walk, and Moxie Mozzie. And this really spawned from a conversation that I had with Moxie Mozzie in the green room before I interviewed him. And he mentioned the fact that him and MT Birchfield have talked briefly in passing, but they haven't really been able to talk too intently. And so I wanted to make a conference room where Empty Birchfield, Roadie Walk, and Moxie Mozzie, and myself, we can all be in one room and we can talk with each other. There's even a collaboration section. I try to make sure that the English content creators here on PokeML are well served. And I would like to thank Empty Birchfield, Roadie Walk, and Moxie Mozzie for their kind gestures in giving me a Pokemon that is their mascot and competitive as well. So Moxie Mozzie gave me a competitive Snorlax. Roadie Walk is working on a competitive Tyranitar. And MT Birchfield gave me a competitive Totodile, not to mention the fact that he is working on another one for me because he wants to get one with Aqua Jet as an egg move. So I thank everybody for their gifts. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for your generosity. I just want to say this here on my headline video so that way you all can know how generous everybody is. So thank you so much everybody for your gifts. I really appreciate it. I hope that the conference room is of good use. All right, on that note, and I had to re-vlog because I AFK'd out of the game. So as a brief result, Sugary Snowpuff and her follower is now behind her rather than at the seat. All right, there we go. And before we sign off, I want to make a donation to the World Cup here. And now I'm going to mail World Cup 4. There we go. And this is for a good cause. So, I wanted to make one million in game on purpose, so that way I can donate before I make my departure. I wish everybody well in your fight. So, good luck everybody. And now it's time for us to make the official sign off. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. This is the Roy Rogers News Channel. Don't forget to comment and subscribe to the channel. Like the content that you see here. And this is the Roy Rogers News Channel signing off. Fast, accurate, unbiased. Roy Rogers News.